Hello and welcome to this video from the SecureX and StealthWatch orchestration use cases series. My name is Hannah Jabour. I'm a TME for StealthWatch. I'm going to walk you through the specific use case. So this example uh, mainly covers the use case where uh, you have your own network. It's being monitored by StealthWatch um, using flow and telemetry data. And uh, we notice that every couple of days, or every few days, you've got new external IPs trying to do some types of malicious activity with your internal network, and these external IPs are not actually associated with any business servers. So what we're going to do as a security operator usually is take a look at these top external systems and try to find them every couple of days and block them uh, using another solution. So this orchestrator is actually going to query for top attacking external IPs uh, uh, based on a schedule, we can do it uh, mainly daily or uh, every couple of days. Then uh, we create a task to be approved by uh, the local team uh, to overlook all these IPs. So you have a list of IPs, you have a task to approve inside SecureX. You look at these different IPs, define uh, if you need to block them and you can actually approve that workflow to get them blocked automatically uh, inside Umbrella. So this idea is, is about automating the hard part of the workflow, which is finding the IPs and then uh, putting them together and try to analyze them to get them blocked. So it's getting most of the hard work done, scheduled, uh, so you don't actually forget to do this type of task as a security operator. And then you still get control by using the task itself uh, to approve or reject such an activity. And then once approved, uh, you can actually push it directly. It's gonna be pushed directly into uh, Umbrella. So now we switch on to the demo of the workflow. So I'm gonna actually start from uh, the section where you get the actual notification from the workflow itself, telling you that there is an actual task to be approved inside SecureX. In this task, you will be able to see the list of the different IPs that you need to block. It's actually got uh, the last top external IPs for the last 24 hours. In this case, since the scheduler is to run every 24 hours. Once you get this uh, list of approval, if you switch on to SecureX uh, as part of your task section, uh, you'll be able to see one request that needs to be approved. If you click on that specific request, you can see the description. The approval list uh, of the host is listed in here. You can actually approve it or reject it depending on your findings. If you click approve, you add a message, for example, approved, and then you click done. Once this is actually is being approved, you'll get the ability to see what's going to happen with these actual IPs. Now, since the approval has been done, if I switch to my umbrella account and look at uh, the block list that I've got, actually, I can see that the IPs are being added inside this block list dynamically. So now you see 27. If I refresh the page, you'll see more and more getting added. It used to be zero. So this is automatically adding all of these IPs one by one. Uh, in my case, I had many of those. So it's getting added literally one by one. And at the end, once this is done, I get a notification. If I click on this notification, it says the actual block has been approved and all these external IPs has been added to a block list. So if we go back to the workflow itself, we can actually see that uh, this is the workflow, how it works. First, it gets the top alarming external host from StealthWatch. It's actually uh, create an approval task, notify you, wait for the approval. Once the approval is done, it goes uh, to actual umbrella and actually start adding those into a block list. And then when it's done, it will actually finally, uh, it will post this message. But if the action was denied, if I look at the actual workflow, if the action was denied, or the uh, event of the approval was denied, you can actually get also a notification, but this time with no adding these IPs to any list. So this was the end of the demo of this specific workflow. We have seen the ability of gaining time by actually transforming hard tasks into automated workflows. In this case, we've gathered the top external IPs automatically, but we kept control and the, the ability to actually do the actions by uh, relying on intelligence 
from uh, somebody who's actually doing the analysis once this tax is approved also we have gained time but not putting every of single of one of these ips manually into an excel sheet or try to add them manually into uh, our umbrella system for blocking instead of doing all of that we have automated the hard part of the tasks and we let uh, our sub team or our engineers to do uh, the intelligent part so this was the end of this demo hope this video has been informative for you guys tune in for other videos